day eight from Fountain, Colorado to Amarillo, Texas. We s drove for roughly five and hours and 15 minutes and uh, it was it was chill. So this, this one kind of starts, we ended in Cheyenne on episode seven and we pretty much wasted a day to catch up with some friends from the military. Um, we had a two hour drive from Cheyenne to Colorado that we did on a Sunday. So we were able to actually like drive through Denver um, without much traffic on a Sunday morning, which was great. And we also got to stop at Bucky's, which the kids are obsessed with. So it was a short trip. We played around in Bucky's for like 30 minutes and it was awesome. Bucky's, the best place of the home of Bucky's. Bucky's a magnificent. I honestly can't express to you how awesome Bucky's is for the kids. Um, I honestly started enjoying it more than them, I think, at one point. And now my wife's like, we're just Bucky fanatics, I think. Um, but just being able to, like, if you have the time, get out. Like, let the kid get a freaking <laughs> squishy dinosaur and run around a store for a second and look at all these beavers. Um, they also have great, like, barbecue sandwiches and stuff. So, like... If you want to stretch the legs, if you're feeling tired, like Bucky's is hands down the best gas station to do it at. So that's how I feel about that. All right. So after we left our friends on a Monday at this point, um, it was 96 degrees while we were there in Colorado. And this is the first time that this Alaskan truck has like had to deal with heat like this. So I was in my normal paranoid state thinking like my truck's about to explode because of all the stuff I've done to it. Um, so I was constantly just looking at the temp gauges, smelling for like my engine on fire and thinking every rattle was my, my wheels shooting into the shoulder, you know, and falling off or LBJ breaking, you know, you know how it is in the first gens. Um, but it, it continued to just perform flawlessly. Um, no complaints at all. Um, the only annoying point of the drive in Texas started when like you just start crossing through small towns kind of in the middle of nowhere for lack of better terms where it just goes from 75 to 65 to 55 to 45 to 35 for absolutely no fucking reason. Uh, and you can guarantee there's one or two Texas, Texas state troopers like <laughs> in the middle of somewhere just trying to get you like a reckless driving ticket in some podunk town. So just slow down, cruise control, the slow speeds and don't get caught riding dirty, you know what I mean? All right, so we t we got we stopped and took pictures of the truck as best we could and family photos and things like that and tried to make it fun. Uh, it was just super hot. We, we were honestly miserable in like the two minutes we were out of the truck and like I could just hear the dogs panting in the back of the truck. So I tried to get back on the highway to give them that breeze through the camper shell. Um, but the hotel on Amarillo, when we showed up, it had a nice pool indoors for the boys to just cannonball into for like an hour and a half. Uh, we were able to wear them out. We had Whataburger. It was the best bunless burger that my wife had had this entire trip. Um, so no complaints there. Uh, it's just nice to be back in the south and see the sun and feel the heat, you know. So that's pretty much it for this one, fellas. Uh, drive safe. Thanks for watching.